So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video we're going to be reading through live the Call of Duty Zombies comic issue number 5, which just came out today, stroke yesterday, depending on when you're watching. Now I made a video yesterday talking about the new loading screen we had right at the end, and that's a very juicy one. I highly advise you click the little eye that's in the top right of your screen, or wait to the end of the video where you can click and watch that one after you've watched this. This is going to be a live read through with cringy voices as per usual, but if you you do enjoy this drop a thumbs up i really would appreciate it let me know your thoughts in the comment section of the story let's jump in so it starts off with a very very juicy shot of this zombie getting its entire head blown open eyeball hanging misty looks very happy with herself we need to stay calm and stay together this is an untenable situation what he said where the hell is stillinger I believe that should not be of primary concern at the current juncture. Aw oh, crap, Rustman knew it was too good to last. Now what? Oh ho ho. So if you guys aren't aware, in the last issue, we got the Cronorium and it awoke a bunch of sort of cyborg-esque zombies which are now chasing our characters. And these are zombies we've never seen before in the story, but you can quite tell that they're not quite zombies. They're like half cyborg, half zombie, maybe even slightly still a bit human. We have no real idea, but they seem to be on a mission to destroy our Victus crew. This is Stillinger's fault. I can feel it in my bones. Gonna feel your bones poking out your skin. Then things get to us. Oh, jeez. And you can see just the destruction that these zombies are doing. And you can see what looks like the undead Richtoff in there. Just kind of chilling watching everything unfold in the back. Yeah? Well, I'm not waiting around until they come back. That was my knees. Yes, it hurt. So of course I have it. This book has lots of pretty pictures in it. I'm going to take a shot at one of the... Whatever these are. Meat golems. I believe it would be wise to reconvene in a more hospitable location. Now where the hell is Misty going? Stay together. I'm going to try and get a better view on things. Go, go, go! Not good. Not good. Misty! We can't get to her. Rustman needs to keep himself alive. I just... just need... help? She doesn't die like this. I need her. Misty! We've got to go. Every Rustman for himself. Rustman hates camping. I believe that I have a potential remedy for these newest opponents. The lab! We need to get back to the lab! We need to work together! You need to... Her... Stop... Have it your way... Boom! Okay... That sucks, and I smell like summer ham now, but it's good to know we can actually kill you. Just die already! I am so glad I insisted on going out for a little league. Martin, I know you're... Whoa! Down! Thank you. We can remain in our current location. We need... I know. But if we try to do it like this, we're going to die. We need everyone. Well, that ain't good. No. It isn't. You know what's going on here? My friend told me... Look... I can't actually tell you what he told me. Something about time and tangiers or something? Uh-huh. Look, basically, this whole place is going to fall apart. Living stuff first, but eventually, it's all going to go away. Aw, oh, man. Russ man just had his first hot meal and... I don't even know. And what the hell are you carrying? This is what we're here for. Now we need to get out. Yeah. We do. Well, ain't no one pointing guns at each other, which Rustman figures for a definite improvement. He doesn't matter. Stillinger is right. Yeah, I feel weird saying it, but this place, even if his friend is wrong, those zombies and those other things, we can't fight them. But we need to work together. We've never been a team, not really, 
but we for damn sure better start now because these are our options. Work together or die alone. Okay. Well, with that kind of ringing endorsement, how could I say no? Look at Stoolinger's face there, man. Fine. Do we have a plan? Oh yeah, I have a plan. Ensure more crazy cyborg zombies, which are now sort of swarming the area that our characters were hiding in. But you can notice Misty is sneaking her way through to get back in because she's trying to make some sort of makeshift explosion to use on these zombies. Okay, yeah, this should work. I really wish I hadn't lost count. Hey, assholes! Come and get it! The barbecue is open! Bam! Massive explosions. Go, go, go! The variables in this plan are unnerving. That is... fortunate. Shit! Keep going! And we can notice some cheeky little ciphers on the walls here. If any of you guys know, get these written down. Let's see if we can work out what these are saying. Misty! I'm good. I know the layout. Okay. We need to get your fancy book back. What do you think we're doing? I hope that plan is working on your end, Misty. This better work, Misty. We won't have much time. If everything goes as planned, we won't need it. Rustman can't remember any time that actually happened. First time for everything, right? Where is he? Where is he? Another cheeky cipher there on uh, Steelinger's chat. He's coming. He better be. Because we are out of time. And bam, that is where the comic ends. So if we flick through the last pages again to make sense of what exactly is happening here, it seems that Misty has formed her own plan rather than listening to Stulinger. Because as it seems right now, Richtofen is not giving Stulinger the sort of commands or the sort of guidance that the characters really need. So taking it into our own hands to work together. It seems Misty and uh, Martin have split up, while Stulinger and Rossman are also part of a sort of separate group. So it's two teams now, where Misty and um, Stulinger are basically getting the lab back online so that they can, you know, sort of stay protected. It looks like they're all going back there so that the machines can draw more blood from the uh, subjects. We don't know why exactly, or why Misty thinks is a good idea, but it seems that nonetheless that... Um, this undead Richtofen is following them and they need him to be following them for a specific reason and we don't quite know but whilst this is all happening and Misty is sort of powering up the door along with Stulinger, you can notice a small figure that's here in this corridor and it's a really small female by the looks of things. It's got one red eye. We can't tell what it is. We can't tell if it's some sort of mutated zombie or if that is possibly some other character that we don't quite know of yet. Could it possibly be Sophia in a, in a sort of body form rather than as a robot? We don't quite know. I have no real idea on who else it could be, but this is quite important. So if you guys have any ideas, drop them down below. But as we get towards the end, we can see Undead Richtofen with the zombie army behind him climbing up into the wall uh, to get in through that window. We can see that uh, Rossman looks pretty scared. And as we can see with that door shut, that character has that eye that's peering through that little crack in the door. We can see that these are what look to be... Somewhat human hands, either human or zombified, we can't tell. But that is a really bright eye that that character has. We have no idea who it is. And uh, Misty saying we're out of time. And bam, that is it for that comic book issue. As for the final comic, the sort of bio for it says, Misty, Rossman and Malton have risked life and limb in order to follow the insane directives of the voice in Stillinger's head. They were promised escape and all of the scars and bruises will be worth it if they end up somewhere that's not full of vicious zombies. But they don't know who's really been given the orders. Can they be trusted? And it is the artwork of Richtofen 
as sort of like half normal premise Richtofen, but he looks kind of like he's in the process of being zombified. He has cuts, his eye colour's different, like he's got heterochromia, which hasn't been explained yet in the story, and as we know from playing with premise Richtofen in Black Ops 3, he doesn't possess this weird set of two different coloured eyes, so that's all going to be explained, and I'm so excited to see Primus Richtofen actually visiting the characters because in this next one we're going to see them enter Mob of the Dead, be put on ice, as well as see what Richtofen's been up to when he's been transporting throughout the different dimensions because we've not seen it visually being represented before, which is going to be really exciting. But honestly, I thought this comic issue was a little boring. It's obviously setting stuff up for the final, but I believe the fourth issue where we saw the Quinorian for the first time and it being picked up was really damn exciting. But all this was was a further development of the characters realizing that the sort of world that they're in is not stable as you see from Rossman it crumbles just like how it Stulinger saw it in the previous issue and all it was was trying to protect the Cronorium and waiting for Richtofen to give them some help but besides that nothing really went down a little bit of a disappointing issue when compared to the last one but I'm sure this final one releasing August 23rd is going to be really damn exciting and it's going to be a moment where we're really going to be excited because it's going to be the end of this story but hopefully it's going to open even more questions for us as well and there's a ton of ciphers which haven't been explored in a long time there's so many ciphers that haven't been solved in the last previous issue so if you guys are cipher guys make sure you keep clicking through the video and getting some good screenshots of these and if they do get solved and they get past my way i'll be sure to bring them to you if they are anything useful but thank you so much for watching guys you've been awesome and as always i'll catch you next time